<clears throat> All right, everyone, and um, welcome to the virtual studio, which is the first part of what you need to do to model an object in Maya. And the virtual studio is like a tracing paper for 2D, uh, but for 3D. And we use um, one or two angles depending on the object. Most of the time, two angles. But for this class, you might be able to use only one angle. Um, for the demo I'll do with a sword, I can use one angle only. Uh, but you're welcome to do two angles if you want to. And those are done by creating a shoebox or a cross. And I'll show you that soon. Now, first thing first, let's do a new scene. So go at the top and say new scene right here. Right here. And what we're going to do now, we're going to click on the space bar to get the four viewport, and we're going to select the front view. Put our cursor on the front view and click on the space bar to make it big. It's that very simple. Now what we're going to do is we are going to create an actual plane, polygon plane, and put on it the picture we are going to use. So um, the thing is that you need to actually make your plane uh, the proper size and we're going to do some power of 10 type of moves okay so let's say let's let's make it so we click on right here we make sure we modified and we went you know to create i mean and went to polygons and selected interactive creation then we click on the plane right here and we are going to just click and drag a plane that we think will be the size of a sword right here okay and right here we have the the width and the height of a plan in the channel box click right here until you get to the channel box and then go to the input polyplane and you will see width and height okay um, so let me um, see where is mine in just a second so I need the, the size of my picture and my picture is uh, 512 by 256 so I'm going to put one comma on the, set, on the side and instead of 512 I'm going to do 51.2 and 256 I'm going to do 25.6 alright so I select my mesh right here click here until I get to the channel box click on the input and I'm going to do uh, the width is going to be 51.2 oops sorry right here and the height is going to be 25.6 right here so that would be a little uh, thing now I don't like having the grid in front of my mesh so click on your space bar go right here in the perspective click on it select a move tool all right and move it forward just past the middle of the grid bing like that it's not like that anymore you can see it well click on it right here very cool you're ready to go now we're just gonna need to create a shader and the shader is simply a texture that is applied to a mesh and uh, we're gonna have to project it just like a projector project on a flat screen is pictures because we need to tell Maya how to see it okay so we'll get to that in a second so first thing first you're gonna right click and you're gonna create a shader which is a, mat a type of material and you're gonna go to assign favorite material and you're gonna select that's the shaders the material and you're going to select Lambert the reason we select Lambert for the virtual studio is that Lambert does not have any reflections so it doesn't bother us when you do when we do it so we click on Lambert right here on the right side you can see the attribute editor as open with all that's your shader Lambert 3 with all the attributes you can have in that shader what we're going to do is we want to put a picture in the color channel so we're going to click on the little uh, black and white right here click on it and that's going to open a menu that's going to let us choose what we want to put on it and we obviously are going to select files because we want to put that sword so we click files right here and the other menu of the files appear right here you go to the file attributes image name right here click on the folder and select your sword and click open now you can't see anything because Maya doesn't let you see it until you click on 6 on your keyboard. So you click on the number 6 on your keyboard and it appears. But it doesn't appear very well. All right. My reason why mine appears transparent, the background, it's because it's a PNG and Maya sees PNG with an alpha channel 
aka a transparency channel where black is transparent and white is opaque okay but it's not showing up very well just on the side because Maya does not really understand how to apply a picture to it we need to tell him just like a projector project on the screen we need to tell him which angle of projection it needs to be and if you look right here you can see the all the angle of the world which is Y up X on the side and Z is hidden behind it because that's the one that comes right at you so the projector is coming from right at you all right so it needs to be Z and we need to do what's called a UV mapping for that we need to unwrap it all right and it's called UV mapping and it's gonna be a planner one because we have a plane so we go to UV right here go to planner but we don't click on planner we go to the little box next to it we select it and now we make sure that it's projecting from the proper angle axis which is in our case Z and then we click on apply you want to make sure your mesh is selected if your mesh is not selected it's not gonna work so you need to select the mesh and click on apply and bing you got your virtual studio right here you ready to go to do a modeling from now on now the only thing you need to do is right click on it go to object mode select it and click here until you get the channel box at the bottom of the channel box you'll see a layer system click on the little last one that says create a new layer and assign selected object with the blue sphere now your object is in a layer visible or not and you go to the last one right here first of all you're gonna double click on layer and say sword to rename it just like in Photoshop and you said save and then next to the P you're gonna click once that's T for you know and then P I uh, sorry R next to the P R for you know um, reference basically and then now you can't select it anymore so we'll be able to do our uh, modeling very well and very easily because we don't have to select it anymore uh, it won't bother us that's it for virtual studio i will see you in the 3d modeling for it